going for it now. Now the challenge around here is to actually find a loose rock. Yeah, it looks like there's there. some around. Three zero three nine. Yeah. Yep. We're almost there. Almost there. We're so close. And this time we should look at the rock instead of just like full on ninja moves. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Screen grabbers better be ready. I <laughs> to do 50 things at once. Just like stay po poised over, over that clicker. Yeah, exactly. I do go through and, and take my own screenshots when I annotate the video. Oh, there's a bath of pathies and a from Noah Coral. All right. It's stretched way out. You can stay there on Delta. Okay, let's start looking for a rock. Yeah, where's this a rock? One with now? not a lot of sediment. Hopefully. I gotta go this way. Will the crust not form if there's too much sediment? Uh, yeah, like extra sedimentation is bad for a crust formation. You want kind of like a clean surface. There's no rocks here. I know, where are they? Really, I thought we were getting rocks here. What's happening? What's happening? Hmm. Oh, what about this one? I think that's attached. You think so? That looks too big. Try it. Yeah, if you want to try. Always happy to try it. Hard to tell with the shadows. Mm. Bunk. Like I'm looking for one that has a shadow, but also big enough. Yeah, that's attached. Ah, uh, all right. With this guy. Attached. We're too deep anyway, that's no good. <laughs> Thirty forty one? No. No good. How about something up here? Uh yeah, yeah. Up, up in this area might be good. Yeah. Uh I don't know. You don't know? Is this too oh, sedimentary? Okay, wait, what about Wait, I lost it. That one? No, not that one. That one's attached. Why can't I see? It looks different on this screen. Okay, not... Yeah, that one. The one, like, right above the... No, it yeah. is permanent. Okay. How about this one? What about the one to the side of it? This one. I don't think so. No. <gasps> We're not going to make it. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? You can come up on Delta a little bit. How about the one between the lasers right now? There? Wait, I can't see it. Or, or this one. I don't know. It's kind of small, and it looks like it's really covered in sediment, so I'm not going to be able to get anything good. Too out small? Of that. Yeah. Oh, I see him in Argus. Got it. Okay, here we go. Last ditch effort. <gasps> Down here. This is the zone. 
Oh yeah, those look loose. This All is the zone. There's like a little shoot. Yeah. Okay. Oh shoot. These look there good. Go. How about? Can I see the thing? Wait. That one where your lasers are. Can you get that? Lasers one? is too big, but <laughs> try the one just below it. <laughs> It's way too big. It's not going to fit. I mean, I'm into it, but I have to end the dive immediately. <laughs> oh. No! I gambled and lost. Hmm. Well. Neat. There is nothing here that is loose, except for the sediment, of course, but that's not very helpful. So I think it's going to be the next watch. Yeah. Lucky them. Yeah. Watch change. Hey, back row. I hear you. Uh, Good morning, front row. Good morning. Um, I'm if I'm clear with you guys. I know you guys want to get a rock sample here. I'm gonna move up a little bit in front of Argus. Sounds good. All good with you guys? Yep, that's great. Great. All right, Jake, I'll come up in front of you here. Good morning, viewers. This is the beginning of the 8 to 12 shift. We'll be introducing ourselves as soon as we get underway here. Keep sending your questions to the chat.
We are in search of the perfect rock. Kick this shift off. Oh, that's a nice sponge. Yeah. Is there any type of particular rock that they're looking for, or just one that is loose? Yeah, so far I think that they've tried for a couple and ended up, they're kind of heavily cemented in there. So we're looking for, you know, 10 centimeter size rock, and if it's picked, if it can be picked up, great. Are we looking for one that's not flat, though? To get some of that seawater Yeah, exposure. we we yeah, something that is more equant in size than a flat plate is better, but uh at this stage, you know, kinda take what we can get. Yeah, now we're in a much in a good spot to sample around here, so Pick your poison, although I've heard these are all really sedimented in. So or can you said you are in a good spot? Yeah, okay. yeah, we're in a much we're in a better spot here now. Looks like maybe yeah, some loose everything stuff I, I see in the front there looks pretty uh you know, kinda cemented in place, but maybe something like that. Or I don't know, they all look pretty locked in. I don't know, maybe that patch where the uh, yeah. Is? Somewhere there might be loose. Yeah, let's try it out. It may be if you can get the manip around something, it can uh, break it off if it's sticking up high enough. Still think Herc needs a rock hammer? Yeah. A drill would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. We did look recently into... Uh, Ropos did this once, had a, a hammer chisel thing, like a, that chisels really fast. Um, it also, I think, shook the vehicle quite a lot, too. Like, a, I'm imagining, like, when they break up the street? Yeah, like a, a, like <laughs> a tiny jackhammer, <laughs> yeah, hydraulically powered. Roto hammer. Go ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. It's all look pretty in uh, there. That hey? looks pretty attached, huh? I can give it a go, but I mean, the only thing I see is that might break off, but I doubt it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure thing. Full light, please. Okay. Roger that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty in there. Yeah, that one's in there pretty well. Okay. I think that's the case for pretty much everything we see in front of us, so maybe we want to pick up and move forward a little bit. Roger that.
We said we don't want this platey stuff, right? Well, uh, in this case, the platey stuff's not so bad because what we're worried about with platey stuff is that it uh, is buried in the sediment. But okay. if it's ex like hang and will overhang like that, I'm not opposed to it. Mm. Looks like there might be some potential candidates potentially off to the far right here. Maybe not. Like something like that. That oh, one's pretty big. Neat overhangs. Are we looking at that, this one right here? Yeah. Maybe. Let's shoot it with some lasers. Pew! What do we have filled in terms of? Chapel's question. Um, how much? Two slurps are filled, one to skin, one rock, two bio on the front. On the starboard side, is it a big box that's filled? or? Uh, yeah, looks like there's a pretty large rock. It's written 25 to 30 centimeters, but that's plus or minus. That is also pretty in there. There's such hope for that. Very curious. You want to reach to one of those overhangs and see if it pops off at all? Over here? Yeah, I think that's shooting for the moon there. I know, I totally <laughs> agree. I don't think it's actually like hanging out over in space. I think it's just... Yeah, that's pretty in there there. Okay. I give it one more Girl Scouts on her here. All right, we'll pick up and look for another spot. Roger that. Would even a small one work for Corley? Like super small? Like those... Uh, like the pebbles? I mean, last resort, I guess.
Go ahead and push on in there a little bit, please, Dave. That's great, thank you. It's like here. maybe more of that sponge stock that's encrusting. Adam, any of these around here look like viable candidates? Uh, they don't look like they're going to come free, I guess is the only problem. You know, maybe that one there. You could try for that one. I guess this one up here would be my preference. Okay. Full light, please. Jake, you want to get the arm out there? Tiny one. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to touch it, Jess. <laughs> Oh, good. Tiny, though. All the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's too that's small. small. It's too small? This is probably... Oh, is that one though. sitting underneath or on top of that? Play that giant rock's pushing this one into the sediment here. Adam? Uh, Up there a little they're bit. They're separated. Energy. I don't know. No. Adam, I don't think that one's going to come free. Looks okay. A bit better now. All right. Uh, well, let's keep moving then. What about this one on top beneath the sponge stock here? Kind of in this little rift. That thing? Uh, center screen. Kind of right below the bumper now. Right in front of the bumper, rather. Yeah, that long oblong one. Yeah, we could try for that. Do you see that one, Jake? Okay, let me get you set up here. All right, go ahead. Do some excavation if you want to. You can do some excavation if you want to. Nice. Raj. Oh, so the no one go. to the right there. Oh, try that again, Jake. I think that might have worked. Yeah, All right. that's um, good try though. Yeah, I agree with you. Move out to the right of your lineup right now. The lower right, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll look around a little more here. Keep the arm out there if you'd like there. So there's a flat platy rock here on the bottom, but that looks maybe not what you want. Uh, no, that is okay if it's not attached. The one next to the 
big round one? Yeah, so the one kind of... Oh, you meant that one. I meant the oh, one. Oh, you meant this this little one? Yeah. We do not want that. Dredge, dredge. Oh, and this looks attached, so I don't think we want yeah. that either. Okay. Roger. However, it might be that we're being a little picky, but... <laughs> Does the expression go? Beggars can't be choosers in this case. Yeah, what about oh that I think that's gonna be hard to get down in that hole. Okay. Yeah, that might look also attached. What those, yeah. Yep. Yeah. In the sand? Yeah. Potentially. All right, Jake, go ahead. Looking at that one? Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Go ahead and push on in a little bit there, please, Dave. That's great. the one on top of it. All right, full wide there, please, Dave. I can hop up here for you there, Jake. Let's try up here, maybe. Yep. Maybe that triangular one in the background. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Jake. Could push on a little bit there, please, Dave. That's great. Oh. Get under it a bit. That's good. Oh. Yeah. I Trillion. It might be an optical illusion. I thought I saw it slightly move. <laughs> oh. All right. Full wide there, please. Sorry, I fell off the perch. I don't know if it's going to budge. I think, I think I hit it pretty hard. Rad, rad. Okay, we can look somewhere. Rock hunt. Yeah. Maybe next time come in hot. See Rage. if we can break something off with I'll come the <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> Just use the vehicle as a battering ram. Are you? I'm not suggesting that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who said that. Who's uh, who's on the? There was no one in the front row. 
Was it no one in the front row? <laughs> <laughs> um, do do do. Do 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 do. Hey, that one there, that keystone one there, right below the laser now. Yeah. The crust, even though it's everywhere, it's not that hard. But I think you just have to be able to get underneath something to wiggle it off a bit. I haven't done it next to it. You want the big one. Oh, uh, hey. I'm not going to argue. This one? Yeah. Right? Sure. Might as well if you're there. I thought that's the one you're looking at. <laughs> oh, that one's not moving. How about the one to the right of it? Right. Do your jaws now, yeah. <laughs> nope. I think that one's a no. Nope. No go. Huh. You know, in a place of all these rocks, you think we could get one. They're all just so sediment or cemented in there, huh? On the dive plan, it just says pick up a rock. I mean, how hard could it be? <laughs> <laughs> how about that one? Right there. Yeah. Middle of the sand clearing. All right, Anna, we know these ones are going to be coming loose. This is it. This is the mm -hmm. one. This is the one. All right, try getting the lasery one. Oh, there's some ripples here as well. Come on. Give it a wiggle. wiggle. It's going. Or maybe it's just your claws. Maybe try using the claws like a rake, pulling it towards us. Hmm. What about that darker one? Oh. Um. Up to the top? Yeah. Okay. You want to come a little bit towards us there, Jake? All right, go ahead. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Get it. Nice. Just gonna get a better grip on it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want it falling out. Get a grip. Get a grip, get a grip yeah. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Get some pictures of it in the lasers. <clears throat> yeah. You gonna hold it out in the light bar a little bit? Nice. All right, Dave, go ahead and push on in there, please. Go ahead and move that arm down a little bit. Is that yeah. enough? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's dusty. That is a dusty rock. <laughs> Watch you coming into the vehicle yep. a bit. Maybe a 
elbow out a little bit. Yeah. That uh, texture you see on there where it looks like a bunch of lumpy surfaces put together has an awesome name. Bo Boitrioidal. Boitrioidal. Um. <laughs> You guys want some better and some clearer shots when the dust clears up, or can we just stow this guy? You can go ahead and stow yeah, it. Yeah, I think um, that's okay. I think we have one choice for that guy, <laughs> and it's E in the starboard box. E, starboard, Raj. Pull wide, please, there, Dave. Oop, sorry, there, Dave. I was not happy with me doing that. <laughs> All right, switching over salvos now. And then making sure there's something floaty, yeah? Nothing floaty? Nothing bio in the starboard right now. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, no. What's the sample number? This is 057. All right. Go ahead and get your elbow up a bit there. Nice. Hopefully it'll fit. E? E, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit, guys. Uh, I think it's going to fit. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think what it's going to fit. What do you I think? Don't, I don't think it's not going to fit. You don't think so? Maybe try pulling the edge closer. Oh. Don't want to lose that grip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and try it. And if not, we can. you'll pull it back out. Okay. Don't break the box. Go. Oh my gosh, yeah, it just barely oh, fits. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's the perfect done. rock ever. I wore my lucky shirt last night. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you got the biggest rock, Adam. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Make sure it closes. It close all the way? Yeah, it closed. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's get cool. A, let's get a Niskin. Oh, Niskin? Yeah. Yes. I am full rack back for you here. Right now, um, the only one that's full is six. Okay. Get this where you found it. Six, which is the bottom one? That one's already no, been pulled. Oh, oh, okay. That's the only one full. So anything else but six. All right, I'll go for Fired. Four. Fired. Which one was that? Four. Number four. Thank you. Nicely done. Yeah, good job. That was not an easy rock to collect. Yeah, that rocks. Was that a pun? Did I miss that it? That was a pun. Okay, I got <laughs> it. I, heard, I just wasn't sure I heard it right. I'm just going to let it die with the, <laughs> with the bad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. <sighs> All right, so Adam, what's the game plan? Can you do a quick zoom on the sediment that the that we just pulled the rock out of, and then we can move on up? Is okay. the Rennie? Where are we on a ship move? We've been paused here. Okay, let's get the ship going. Okay.
just along the ridge there any? Is that yeah. Okay? So which way you're facing? I'm facing 135 right now. 135 and you're up slow. I guess 140 for Argus. Okay. Just don't want to overshoot it. Get over to the other side. We'll just do 50 meters. 150. Raj. 150, zero, zero meters. Bridge now. I think I might go along it then after. Okay. This looks like it's flattening out a bit. Yeah. Roger that. Hey, Rennie, can you give me a little update on the nav? Yeah. So um, we are just past waypoint four, and we're going to waypoint five. I think we might want to throw a plate. If, uh, if I don't get the Z bias right here. We have three plates there. And, and uh, science of the. I think in three. Three. Science, we have uh, another large rock in F, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, Jake, you want to drop one of the plates, please? the left hand side one. We have a viewer who is asking if the weight of the rock will make Herc more difficult to control. You can see that you're dropping a weight right now. Shake. Sorry, Lisa, what was the question? Oh, we just had a viewer who was asking about whether the weight of the rock would make Herc more difficult to control. And I said we are dropping a plate to help compensate for that. Yeah, you got it right on the nose. <laughs> and that plate is made of steel, is that correct? Yeah, that's and correct. And will corrode? Steel and hemp, so that it can degrade over time. When I was watching the recovery of Herc, mm -hmm. the weights were like gym weights, I think. Is that what, correct? What weights? The, the weights on Herc during the recovery looked like weights you see at the gym, you know, those plates that go on the bars. and. Huh. Huh. When was this? During the recovery of the vehicle, when it was on like the Like the most board. recent one? No, no, I mean, like, when it got winning. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Uh, yes, I believe that that was true. 
Uh, is that what you'd use if you're not planning on taking weights on and off kind of thing? Um, I believe that was what Ocean Networks Canada had to use. Oh, okay. And they were providing those. If I'm there are definitely some gym weights in the hangar, so I know they're <laughs> Yeah. And these plates are fifteen pounds, is that correct? Yeah, that's somewhere around there. Oh. It may have been actually Adam that we needed more weight to ballast because of that particular dive. I could I can't quite recall. It was ballast, I think, because they uh, uh, Jason had to pull them out from underneath. Right. Yes, that's correct. I just don't know why they were why those weights were put on versus the Alvin weights, and I think it's just because they were heavier and we needed that because of the activities of that dive. But I could be mistaken. And a question about whether we go back to get the plates later. No, they will corrode in the water, and the hemp will break down. Adam, can you talk about the rocks? We've had a few questions about the rocks, um, what makes them sometimes break apart, or, or some questions about wh why we wanted to avoid rocks with a lot of the sedimentation. Yeah, so the rocks that we're looking at uh, the, and the seamount itself are basaltic uh, volcanic rocks, but on top of the rocks is a thick coating of iron and manganese precipitate. It's precipitated out of the water, and it's taken what were you know kind of sharp angles and rounded them off. Um, but it also has cemented a lot of them together. So. Uh, we have scientists involved in this expedition who are interested in the rocks themselves, uh, you know, the, the volcanic rocks, but also interested in the crusts on top and how they form. Um, for the crust, we're looking at the very outermost layer of crust, the stuff that is precipitated most recently, and <coughs> we kind of scrape that off. And so if the rock is heavily sedimented, and we can't completely clean that sediment off, then some of the sediment ends up in the in the samples. Uh, so we we're kind of looking for rocks that stick up out of the off the seafloor, have you know a top that's typically sedimented, but some sides that are are cleaner. We want rocks that are big enough that we think that there's some unaltered volcanic material inside, and that's kind of what what's guiding us and then there's a bit of a push pull with uh, someone like me wanting big rocks and then uh, the ROV team you know just being cautious about picking up too much weight picking up things that don't fit <laughs> and the like so uh, we eventually uh, compromise but in the situation like that last one it was basically we had to go with whatever rock we could get because a lot of the ones we were trying for were so uh, encrusted with this iron and manganese that they were kind of locked into the, the seafloor and, and just wouldn't come up. And that I should note that the manipulators are are really strong, you know. So uh, the fact that they didn't come up means that they're really well stuck. And a viewer wants to know if you have used your rock saw on a rock cutter on any of the rocks we've collected so far yeah we've started to uh the rock saw is in need of a little love so it didn't, didn't have great success with that but we uh hammered one open it that's a pretty destructive process especially if we want to look at the outermost layer of the crust so we're gonna just ship them back to our labs uh as is uh cut them open there and, and see what's inside so it's like a late Christmas present, you know, mm -hmm. we'll get to mm -hmm. unwrap them and see what we got. One of our viewers is asking if there's a way to see the estimated time for the next dive. And yes, keep uh, checking back on our website for a status update with this particular dive. We were waiting for the weather to calm. So we were a little unsure of when this dive would begin until it actually began. So we will try to update that more regularly with estimated times for upcoming dives if the weather is uh, cool.
cooperating with us. So again, we're seeing a fair bit of sediment accumulating on this slope and even some ripples indicating that there's a uh, current moving through. A lot of the sediment we see is covered with uh, a layer of small iron manganese nodules. And the fact that this isn't could mean a number of things, but perhaps that there's active sediment accumulation that is uh, either bearing nodules or, or that it's a, a kind of new deposit of sediment. But you see in the downslope side of some of the rocks you get collections of you know smaller rocks and uh, that generally means that you're you can carry that bigger material where the sediment's moving quickly but on the back side of those rocks where it slows down it tends to drop that sediment We have a viewer asking if we're, we ever turn the lights off and look for bioluminescence, and we won't be doing that on this expedition. The ROV pilots depend on that light to help them navigate. But maybe that'll be their final test mm -hmm. to become ROV master, is to oh. just feel, feel the slope in front of them. <laughs> Blind tap. Time. Feel the slope, be the slope. <laughs> Use the force. <laughs> we're feeling a lot of forces when we're bouncing off the ground, guys. Use so. the grip force. <laughs> <laughs> There's a white sea star of some type. Apologies for those who are looking for biological identifications on this watch. <laughs> <laughs> they know to wait for Steve's watch by now. Is it possible to get a zoom? Are we okay with that? What is that? Can is it possible we get a zoom on that one? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead and push on in there, please. Aren't two stars supposed to have five arms? It's a, some sort of overachieving C star. I think they can yeah. range from five, I don't know. The, what the low number is, but they can go up to 13, 11. Come a little wide there, please, Dave. That's great. Right there, please, Dave. So, is it species dependent that they can have multiple arms? Um, I don't know. Steve's not in the chat. I'm going to try to move the general upslope of this ridge here. Still be going 150, and eventually we'll go 210. Edge. Bridge nav. 
100 meters bearing 210. Thank you. Give me a zoom on that thing there. On the sedimented rock? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure thing. It's kind of cool, you can see uh, not Get the rock, but there, next to it, the, the uh, you know, stuff like this, the pavement getting covered up by sediment. What part of this rock do you want to see the black part? Or I w did want to see the black part, okay. but that's good. There's a tiny sea star up above, too. Yeah. Is that getting you what you want there, Dave? Or not Dave, Adam. Yep, I'm good. All right, pull wide, please. When we pull out, there's a little sea star we'd like to look at. Sure thing. You want to tell us, it, please? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wee. baby little guy. Go ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. 